Now they're set. There's the all clear. They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Not a bad beginning. River Quiraris is right there in the early stages. Glittering Gull very quick with the red sleeves on the right. Over on the inside, Sabatini leads it from Magic Tycoon. Now followed by Princess Ozma. Certainly is in the green. Ecoria races by itself in the middle of the track. They'll follow it further back by Bobbles and Beads, then time for glory. And they'll follow it further back in the run at this stage by Red Roses 2. Races about five or six lengths off the leader. And I'm looking for Miss Cool at this stage. Let's see Miss Cool is two off the right-hand side. Got four or five lengths to make up with right on. Absolute stampede coming to the 300. Sabatini the leader. Glittering girl towards the outside of that one. Amina's trying to put in a claim. Further back in the run is Sweet Pepper. Miss Cool under pressure, down the inside of that time for glory, and Glittering Girl, Rella Corraris is running on it, Corey on the inside, Glittering Girl, Sweet Pepper becomes a big runner, Sweet Pepper on the outside, Glittering Girl, down the inside of that River Corraris, it goes to Sweet Pepper, second place, Glittering Girl, third River Corraris, and that is the running of the Allen Robertson Championship, and it goes to number 12, Sweet Pepper. His first Group 1 win was in the Allen Robertson 12 months ago with Under Your Spell. You love this place and you love this race. 100% uh, Ali. Yeah, I love this day. And um, look, I just need to thank Mr. Terry and Mr. Jarkenstein and Mrs. Rupert for giving me this opportunity. It's, you know, it's an honor to ride in these colors and to ride in the Group 1. What, what better? You sat back in the early stages, chased a few horses that looked like they had the right form. They looked like the right horses during the race. Were you a little bit further back than what you wanted to be, or was that just absolutely perfect? Look, initially I wanted to be a little bit closer, but uh, we did go a good pace, and um, look, I won this race from, lo from last with Andy spell, so I never, there was no panic stations, and um, she's she a true professional, this filly, and uh, look, she, she, got a, she got herself into gear at the right time, and uh, she was all hard to win today, and uh, look, I just want to thank once again Mr. Terry, to the whole team back at home, to my beautiful wife, to my brother, who's my agent, doing a great job, and... Uh, to my family in Mauritius, <laughs> this one's for them. You've rode this horse three times, one on all three occasions. Does she give you the impression that she's just getting, I know she just won a group one, but does she give you the impression that she's only getting better and stronger now? 100% Ellie. Um, she's, she's just getting better and better each time I ride her. She's learning about racing and look, uh, as I say, she's a true professional. So from day one, she's been good. So I'm just really uh, happy and I'm trying to enjoy the moment. Uh, you know, they don't come around every day group one. So just trying to enjoy the moment and just thank you to everyone that's involved. Well, as you came back into the winner's enclosure, Sean Terry said you brought your A game. You certainly did. More eyes like that. There'll be more group ones. Accept your prize from Mayesh Chetty, who, of course, is a chairperson of Gold Circle Racing Club and also a director of Gold Circle and a huge supporter of racing. And uh, Mayesh and I go back a long way. Well done, Calvin. I just want to thank uh, um, Hollywood Bits and uh, to Gold Circle, to everyone that got this uh, day to it yesterday. Thank you very much. And to my sponsors, Last but not least, Fundamali, thank you very much. Bit of a full circle moment there for Calvin Habib.